This is Chusan, a 71 foot 6 inch traditional stern narrowboat built in 2000 by Stenson and fitted out by Stephen Ray. She offers a lot of living space. She's in lovely condition. She was repainted in 2010 at Stowe Hill Marine. She was blacked in 2015. And while she was out of the water, a hull survey was conducted and that's available for inspection. And she's tidy both inside and out. Lovely sounding Ruston Hornsby engine in her. Portholes throughout. There are Houdini hatches, the boat's quite light. And we'll go inside and have a look. The gas lockers are in the bows there. There's a good quality cratch cover. Glazed cratch board and a drop down table. That hinges back up. Storage lockers either side. On into the boat we go. She's lined out with oak faced pline oak trim. Carpets below the gunnels and to the floor. A couple of very comfortable leather captain's chairs in the saloon here. The saloon's a good size at 10 foot 7 inches. Useful cupboard in the corner here. And the stove is a more so squirrel. Let's just have another look at the well deck there. The well deck's 3 foot 8 inches long. Very good stoves, those squirrels. Five radiators on board, they're fired by a Cabola diesel fired central heating system. There's a L shaped dinette here. Turns into a double bed, it's ingenious. Those legs collapse, the table just drops down. And hey presto, you have a bed. A couple of good sized glass shelves there. And there's one of the Houdini hatches I mentioned, that has a perspex screen over it as well. Very large room, lots of space, very cosy feeling. On into the galley, seven foot six inches long. The useful plate rack up there. The microwave you see is a 700 watt cookworks microwave and the cooker is a stove's DIT 500. Four hob gas burner, separate grill and oven. usual storage under the sink and the shoreline fridge freezer is here that's a separate freezer compartment and the fridge is underneath and on the starboard side there's a freestanding separate storage unit which is next to the uh, side hatch. That also has a perspex screen over it. Some steps of the side hatch as well for easy exit. There we go, there's the view down the galley and the saloon. And round we go. There are two bedrooms on, but well, three if you count the back cabin, but this is the first of them. The bed's six foot two inches long by four foot wide, fixed double. Storage underneath. And there's a half wardrobe here with some shelves next to it. All the wood's good and solid aboard Chusan. Another radiator. They're all very large, the radiators. And into the next cabin. At the moment, it's a single bed. This, this room could offer a variety of uses. You could put bunk beds in. It could become an office. You could put another fixed double berth in if you got rid of this wardrobe. It could be a nursery. Cupboard over there. And storage underneath this bed as well. Both the bedrooms are six feet two inches long. The 
there is actually a Houdini hatch in this single cabin as well over the bed. So the bathroom's next, very large room for a bathroom, just short of seven feet long. Quadrant shower in the corner, there's a full size washing machine. That's a Beko. Lovely ceramic sink in the corner over a, a cupboard. Some storage drawers next to that. The loo's a Thetford Porter loo, rock trail. That's brand new, hasn't been used. I even took it out of the box for the uh, for the video. Another radiator in here, and into the engine room. This is where the beautiful Ruston Hornsby sits. The calorifier is in this white boxed area, and the Cabola diesel boiler for the central heating is there. That's the diesel day tank. And the inverter, that's a Fe uh, Victron Phoenix 1600 watt. And the various battery monitors and things are in the corner here. The batteries are under the radiator, below the side hatch there, under the floorboard. They were new in July 2017. There's four domestics and one starter. So two side hatches in the engine room. And then we go into the back cabin. This hinged bit of wood makes up the cross bed. I'll show you how that works. So this is the third bedroom, if you like. This cross bed turns into a full width double. That drops down and this hinged board flips over and sits on that piece of wood I just showed you. There's no mattress on board for the cross bed, so that would need to be sourced. But the rest of it is all here. Very thick, solid wood. Beautifully finished. And it has the usual back cabin arrangement with the Epping stove. Well, that's slightly unusual, actually. That beer fridge is currently serving as a step. But it is a beer fridge, and it does work as a step. The proper step is on board in one of these cupboards. There's the drop-down table, crumb drawer underneath. And, of course, there's storage under the couch that I'm sitting on. Lovely room, eight foot six inches long. Head height in the boat is six foot two, and it's just over five feet in this back cabin. And out we go. The lighting on board's LED. There's a galvanic isolator on board. She's a lovely boat. There's the view from the helmsman's position. And that's Chusan. For further photographs, layout plans, and a fully downloadable colour brochure, go to www.rugbyboats.co.uk.